Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'm back on the road with a completely new team, Cassidy and Rex. And I guess the first thing we're going to do together is uh, try to find the remains of Cassidy's caravan because it's conveniently close. It's basically just around here. And I suppose technically I sold the remains of the caravan to Crimson Caravan. But um, I guess we will have a look at them anyway. So yeah, let's just move on um, and this time in the right direction. I'm going to stay on the road and then I will just follow the road at the next crossroad to wherever the caravan is going to be. And we should be a lot just in case there's more death claws around but it seems that we left the most dangerous part of uh, the road behind so we will check out all these various buildings on our way for example is this anything special it doesn't seem to be <laughs> it's not even a landmark and apparently I can't go inside. But there's a lawnmower. I've never seen that before. It also looks like someone is, you know, cultivating these fields. There might be like a farm over here or something. So let's have a look at that. Is that a person? No, that's not a person. It's a garden gnome. A very big one. And I can actually take it with me. If I wanted to. Um, well, I'm not sure Damn, if... Running low on smokes again. I need that. But okay, apparently there are some people around here. Yeah, um, apparently powder gangers. Now, I'm still on shaky, but mostly positive grounds with the uh, powder gangers. I think I'm shunned, but um, my standing is not so bad that they attack me on sight. Let's see if we can talk to any of them, or are they just random Grim's got some new sheriff watching over the town now. NPC. Grim's got any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. That have no specific role in this game other to walk around and provide ambience well um i guess they just live here so apparently taking the bottle caps over here is not considered stealing so i will totally take all of this stuff Powder Ganger note. The note reads, I'm taking most of the boys west to go check out this vault we heard about. Stay here and keep an eye on things until we get back and keep a closer eye on the fiend. Those guys are crazier than Scrambler. If there's any trouble, radio ahead. Oh, are you talking about... Are you talking about Vault 22? Because I guess that is west of here. Well... I heard that place is very dangerous. And yes, please give me the stim packs. I used quite a few of them fighting all the death claws. Um okay, is that everything that's of interest around here? More or less. It's just random crap. Okay. Oh, there's actually a locked door, and it's one that I can open. But it only leads to the outside. I'm going to take the garden gnome. Why not? It is just so bizarre, and I guess it makes for an interesting souvenir. <laughs> not that this place is any special, that it warrants a souvenir, but why not? But yeah, who is cultivating these lands? Oh, I think there's more Deathclaw 
over there. Don't really want to bother with that at the moment. So let's just move on. Um, Whitaker Farmstead. Okay, so it used to be a farmstead and uh, maybe there used to be farmers, but now there's just powder gangers. And we have some power lines over here, but these power lines are not carrying any energy or current anymore. I'm still not entirely certain how the uh, electricity from Hoover Dam actually reaches New Vegas. There must be other power lines other than these. Anyway, um, I am on the right road now and I'm moving straight towards the place where Cassidy's caravan got attacked. Let's make a save. She mentioned Cazadors that might have taken over the site. So I'll take that as a warning. That they actually might be Cazadors. Or something other that is dangerous. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this building. Oh, I can see enemies. We're hunting shitheads. I'm not exactly sure what we are hunting. Um, probably fiends, huh? Yep. It's Don't fiends right now. You're just in time for your ass whipping. Oh, um, stuff is exploding. Someone has some kind of energy weapon over here. It would seem. Well, let's see if we can hit her from all the way over here. Well, I guess Rex can just take care of it. Um. Okay, but there's still danger. Someone's looking to cash All right, here we go. Let's get a little bit closer so we actually have a decent chance to hit them. Right, there we go. Gonna six this bitch. I mean, compared to the death claws, these are not really much of a challenge, I suppose. But let's see if they have any decent loot. Um, well, I have an almost empty inventory, so I can take some gratuitous stuff with me, just for the purpose of selling it eventually. So, just going to take everything that might have some value. Um, well, was she going to attack me with a pool cue, really? But I mean, someone had a decent weapon around here. May have been this one over here. Yeah, this has some kind of laser rifle. Guess I'll take it. They are very unequally armed. Some have laser rifles and some have pool cues. So that's interesting. Um, anyway, I just discovered some place, right? What exactly is this? Allied Technologies Offices. Huh. Oh. Is this something that I want to check out? Um, and then I you should have expected start. that. Serving up some hurt. There's always like enemies in buildings as soon as you enter them. Anyway, since these are just smaller creatures, well, <laughs> they're giant ants, but compared to death claws, they're smaller. So I guess I can probably just use my smaller gun for this. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to try that one gun that I got at the end of the DLC and see how this works for me. I mean, it looks very small. You're just in time for your ass with Well, it certainly gets job done. And I have a decent amount of ammo for it, so 
I guess we can use this for now. All right, so let's see. I can stock up my sunset sarsaparilla because I've used up quite a bit of that too. And I'm going to pick up some of these books. All right. Just to convert them. Is there anything else of interest around here? I guess I'll take the cigarettes. Oh, that's an actual magazine. Tales of Chivalry. I never really used any of these before. Um, go on on a stick. Anyway, I've seen a few computers. So let's have a look at uh, the terminals. Primary power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Okay, so apparently this terminal is broken. I mean, there might be a way to reactivate it by reactivating the power source, I suppose. But for now I can't really use it. What about the one over here? Okay, same problem. So, can I do anything about the situation? Um, I mean, this is just where I came in, right? And... Oh, I guess I'll take the ammo. Uh, I guess these are all broken too. Well, there's some bottle caps I can take. But I don't want to open the desk. I want to pick up the bottle caps. Alright. We have to be very specific. I mean, some of them could be star bottle caps, right? Nope, they're all just normal bottle caps. Um, yeah, there isn't really anything in here either. So, I guess we are just going to move on. Oh, hang on a second. True police stories. Anyway, I think I have enough books for now. So at some point I can start creating more magazines. I guess I need more wonder glue, but... Um, at least I have the Keeping magazines. Quiet. Okay, um, let's move on. Oh, hang on. There's a large amount of ants over here. Let's maybe take care of them before we move on so they don't... Oh. Just attack us from behind when we don't expect them. Well, let's go a little bit closer, make sure we actually hit them. Alright. Yeah, that's so much easier than fighting death claws. Alright, um, looks like that's all of them. And mount. Oh yeah, um, I guess this is where they came from. Oh, I can enter it. I can enter the end mount. Open and refuse pile. Oh, uh, hi. You are not an end. You are totally not an end. Do you have any more fiend friends around that I should take care of? <laughs> Probably not. But you have a weapon that I want to take with me. Okay, now let's have a look at this again. I'm not sure if I want to enter the end mount, at least not right now, because I kind of want to get to um, Cassidy's caravan today. Why is there ammo in the refuse pile? 
and fission batteries. Or an ashtray or a cigarettes. This is just stuff they collect and uh, take here just to collect it. <laughs> I mean, I have to admit, I'm kind of curious about the inside of the ant mound. Maybe um, I will check this out on my way back from uh, the wreckage. I mean, it's not very far away, so I can easily come back here and check out <laughs> the end mount. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the road, maybe. So, I'm seeing something over here. Is that your caravan? Let's see. Yeah, this looks like it used to be a caravan. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would they have done it during the day? Is anything salvageable? All right, let's check the place out. I mean, we get attacked during the day all the time. I mean, look at all the fiends attacking us. And the fiends use energy weapons, which turns uh, the victims into this kind of, you know, piles of goo or whatever. So I guess a number of fiends attack them because that's what they do, apparently. <laughs> But, sure, let's ask it anyway. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. <laughs> well, as I said, technically I've sold your caravan to Crimson Caravan, but they don't need to know about this, right? So let's see if we can find anything of interest. Well, there's some bottle caps and some mentats who somehow survive disintegration. But they You know took what? This. What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons, too. So you would like to check it out, maybe? Find who is, is responsible for this? Yeah. It's a ways, though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Um, sure, let's do it. I mean, maybe not right now, but eventually? All right, then. Let's move out. So, where exactly would we have to go for this? Oh, it's over here. Well, as it happens, I kind of want to go to Jacobstown and to take a look at Rex. So we will eventually uh, get to that place. So you're in luck because we are totally going to check this out. Okay, so um, if I continue on this road, I will just return to the rest stop over here. Um, oh, there's another vault over here, Vault 3. Maybe that's the vault the powder gangers have been talking about. Although I'm not sure if I'm prepared for another vault, I'm still traumatized by uh, the vault over here. Which one was it? 34? <laughs> but I guess at some point I have to, you know, take a look at the other vaults as well. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested in any of that. Um, and... There doesn't really seem to be anything else left. I mean, we got some money out of it, I suppose. So that's something. But yeah, um, now that we found her caravan, I guess uh, there's nothing left for us to do here. So maybe I will check out that end bound after sure all. Sure could use a drink. You want a drink? 
<laughs> I have no alcohol. I'm pretty sure I gave it all to uh, Joshua Graham because I needed to clean up my inventory. Uh, I mean, we can make some, I suppose. Some moonshine. But yeah, um, I will have a look at the end mount. And let's see what's inside. I mean, ends, I suppose. But there might be something else of interest in it as well. Uh, and nectar. And I wonder what's going on here. With the skulls on the fence. <laughs> The dead Brahmin. I mean, I guess the Brahmin might have been killed by the ants, but whoever put the skulls on the fence was not an ant. I'm going to assume. Okay. Let's see what awaits us inside this place. Okay, it basically looks like a cave keeping quiet is it a very big place it's kind of hard to tell anyway let's see there's a distinctive lack of ants in the end mount so far anyway <laughs> instead we have a lot of corridors and I have no idea I'm going in the right direction. I mean, this is obviously a dead end. Okay. Let's move a little bit quicker. Okay, here we go. There are some ants. But... <laughs> Not as many as I would have expected. Yeah. Doesn't look all that large either. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Is that like... The Ant Queen. Yep, it's an Ant Queen. Okay. Guess we should take her down so she can't produce any more ants. Alright, well, um... I guess it's kind of what you would expect in an Ant Mount, an Ant Queen, but... A lot less ants <laughs> than I would have expected. Okay, um, let's see. Let's just max out the gun skills. I enjoy having good gun skills. Um, going to increase the explosives. And... Shroom. Like I said, I don't think I need to increase repair signs or medicine. Not for skill checks anyway, because I haven't really seen any checks that are higher than that. Um, I guess I will put more into sneak and the remaining point into lockpick. So at some point I will reach like 40 and 50. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, when it's time to pick another perk. Apparently I can get yet another intense training perk, so that's um, great. But maybe we will go for a different skill. With the red absorption perk, your radiation level slowly decreases on its own over time. Now that is actually not so bad. I kinda dislike having radiation poisoning. You might come to understand Night Stalkers. Consuming Night Stalkers, squeezing now grants bonuses to perception. Grim Reaper Sprint. You kill target and vets. 20 action points are restored upon exiting vets. That's also not bad. I feel that I could use more vets. I think I'm going to take this one. So let's just pick it and 
see if we find anything else in here. Well, a number of ant eggs. And that is still a disgusting noise. Just saying. I mean, listen to it. It's disgusting. Okay, um, well, looks like we killed an ant queen. She's actually kind of disgusting too, so there's that. But that seems to be all there is to this place. All right, um, I guess uh, that means we can go back and move on. Unless there are some corridors that I haven't seen yet. Now I'm pretty sure that this is all there is to this place. So am I going in the right direction? Yes, I am. And tunnel to Mojave Wasteland. Yes, let's go back outside. Well, this was interesting. Not quite as spectacular or dangerous as I feared. Um, there's a pretty large building over here. I'm not sure if this is anything I should check out. But it has a door, so... It might be something that I can actually enter. Uh, can you go up here? Abandoned warehouse. Well, I'm sure there's something inside. Oh, um, there is something inside, but it's not dangerous creatures trying to attack us. How unusual. Got some Brahmin in here? I'm sure someone put them here, so... To whom belong these Brahmin? And we got some terminals, but none of them seem to be in working condition. Okay, this is just to the outside. Um, is this something over here? Eyeglasses, pencil, no. Um, oh, wine. You are looking for something to drink, right? <laughs> well, there's some stuff here. It's not whiskey, though. But it's alcohol, so... It would take the edge off, I suppose. Um, well... This is interesting, but not very. <laughs> um, yeah, most of this stuff is empty. And the bottles are empty too. And now I get lost in all these boxes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's actually anyone in here I can talk to. You would think there is someone who's the owner of the Brahmin, but nope. But I mean, there's like a staircase, so. I suppose we should uh, check this out too. There's actually two doors? No, this is just leading nowhere. Oh, and no, I can't go back because my companions are blocking me. Hard heads required in this area. Well, I do not have a hard head. And as it turns out, this is actually not a door. Okay, uh, that is underwhelming. I can't actually go through there. I mean, it is a door, but it's not a door I can open. Oh, well, we have lots and lots of Sunset Sasa Parilla crates. But all the bottles are empty. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not sure what I expected to find here, but after seeing the Brahmin, I thought there would be more in here than just empty crates. Um, yeah, I, I guess 
I'm going to leave again. Can I like climb these boxes? I don't think so. No, let's let's just move on. I don't think there's anything of interest in here. All right. Um, the sun is starting to set again. Now, um, I guess I will turn around and then move towards the north again because I don't need to go into this area. Instead I will go back to the big road and move in this direction. And I may want to visit the Sunset Sasa Parilla headquarters. I mean, surely this is something of interest. So, let's turn around and let's continue our exploration. I mean, is this over here another building? It looks like it could be another warehouse. So, I guess I will check this out too. Um, okay, but apparently this one is closed. Can't go inside. I mean, we have a number of buildings over here. Some of them might be interesting. Alright, let's check out these buildings too. This one has doors, so... I think this would be worth checking out. The Basin Creek building. Huh, what would that be? Well, first of all, I should know better than to walk into a building without drawing my gun. <laughs> Although in this case there was no enemy waiting for us right in the first room. But there are some enemies waiting for us in the next room, apparently. Um, it looks like ants. It is ants. Alright. If it's just ants, I think we won't have a problem here. Oh, and some roaches as well. This door is locked, but I can actually open it. <laughs> How unusual. Um, well, I, I could open it if I found the right spot to open it. <laughs> there must be something over here. Okay, here we go. Well, what happened to this guy? <laughs> Got he locked in here? Um, well, I think I'm fine on books at the moment, so I'm going to leave them behind. Come on, there must be something interesting in here. It's a locked room. And there's absolutely nothing in sight. How lame. Well, there's a magazine, I suppose. More tales of chivalry. I'll take it. All right, well, that seems to be all, though. Let's move on. I can hear more ants or roaches. Probably inside here. Yep. I'm going to assume there's nothing too interesting in here. And there usually isn't. Oh, um, I was wondering about the noise. Apparently there's a water leak. And I can't open this door. 
Um, nor can I open this one. Uh, does my map say anything about this place? Again, doesn't seem to be anything too special in here. This room is pretty much empty. This is a dead end. Can't go through here or here. And the room over here was a bit of a disappointment too. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's really all of uh, this place. All right. Guess we are going to move on. I mean, unless there's something over here. Nope. I guess that used to be a staircase, but it's not anymore. All right, let's keep going. You kind of scared me. You were suddenly in front of me instead of behind me. I thought you were enemies. <sighs> anyway, um, time to move on. Um, guess this building over here might be worth a look. I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't looked at this one, right? No, I haven't. Oh, hey, we actually the ranger vets are on their way reaching from reaching. Never seen one before. NCR soldiers again. I haven't seen any of them in a while, which would prove Cassidy's point that you know there's just too few of them in too large a territory. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of these buildings can be entered. Oh! We have some more fiends over here. But, um, they shouldn't be a big deal. There we go. Yeah, apparently the fiends really like the energy weapons, huh? I use them a lot and I pick up too many of them because my inventory is already getting full. And I don't really need them to begin with. Um, but I thought, you know, I can sell them and stuff. So I just take them with me. All right. May have to drop some of them soon though. Um, okay, we got a door over here. West pump station. Oh, well, the pump station. You ready to dock? Oh well. Are you wanna play, huh? There's a fiend in here, but I'm gonna make you he didn't survive long. You are out staying. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I guess this was a red uh, marked door, so there could have been anything inside. Oh. Did we want to actually talk to you? Um, oh well, you have some stuff that I may actually want to take with me. Yeah, this looks like the pump station we've seen earlier. So, what were you these were staying, you're welcome. fiends doing in here? Just hanging out? Or were they actually doing anything? Um, well, there's no terminal that I can use. You're outstaying your welcome. Are you saying it because I'm in restricted territories? Because I entered this place even though it was red? But there were just fiends inside. I mean, they certainly didn't have the authority to be in there. Anyway, um, apparently we are back at the big road. So let's keep on moving. Look 
Got a number of destroyed buildings here. Um, and what appears to be checkpoints, but also enemies. And apparently, um, mines. I think I stepped on a mine, and that's what actually damaged me. Um, okay, so let's be careful. The region might be booby trapped. There's certainly a few more enemies around. I mean, I remember having like one quest where I had to hunt down one specific fiend. I actually wonder if that is in the vicinity. It may have been. Um, which one was it? Yeah, this one. Kill Kukuk and acquire his head. Preferably in tech. Where exactly would that be? Uh, let's have a look at the map. Okay, so it's actually not that far away. Um, no, I'm not, not sure which of these quest markers is which part of the quest. I mean, I guess one of them is the Brahmin. But why do I have to kill the Brahmin? If I want to kill him. I mean the cow um, is not at fault, right? So I would prefer to just kill Kukuk and not his Brahmin. You like the sight of your own blood? Um Can you actually see the enemies? Because I can't, Cassidy. Okay, here we go. Someone's looking to cash their chips early. I think they haven't actually noticed us yet. Oh, I got karma. That's <laughs> interesting. And what are you laughing You're at? Just in time for your ass <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> that laughter. Anyway, um, I'm getting karma for killing these fiends. I didn't get any karma for killing fiends before, so these fiends must be special in some form. Let's have a look at uh, the people we killed. Yeah, it just says fiend. Doesn't really say anything other than that. But sure, I'll take the karma. I definitely take the karma. But yeah, I actually may want to um, look for that cook cook guy maybe in the next episode and maybe we can finish this quest while we're in the vicinity. I'm going to assume that he's probably somewhere around here. I'm not sure what this one over here is. Um, I guess it could be maybe the other targets I'm supposed to hunt. But since we're over here, I will check out this place and see uh, if we can find uh, this person we're supposed to uh, bounty hunt. Um, yeah, but let's have a quick look around these ruins and see if we missed anything or anyone. Like, I do see a door over here. New Vega Steel. Okay. Don't need it. I might as well be shooting blanks. Made in the USA. Oh, well, um, that is not what I expect to Go find here. Running will only make the pain last longer. It's robots. Oh, that is interesting. That how you wanna play, huh? Oh, um, sorry, sorry, Rex, you look like a robot. <laughs> I am very sorry I, I shot you. I hope you will forgive me. But I guess that's what happens if, you know, he storms off and 
attacks the enemies head on. It's it's kind of hard to distinguish between him and the enemies. Mr. Steel. Okay. So apparently this place is full of uh, robots. I mean, they look like Mr. Gutsies, but apparently they're not. Interestingly enough, this place still seems to be kind of in uh, operation. There's still steel being produced, it would seem. Well, that's interesting. Um, I guess we can take all of this. Although there's very ominous music. Rex! Rex! Um, can you please let me through? Thank you. I don't need any of that. Oh, I didn't mean to fire. I'll take this though. Um, yeah, well. Another very interesting place, but again, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything special here. I mean, some of these places might be part of quests that I didn't get yet, but it seems that there's a lot of places in this game that don't really do anything in the sense of, you know, they're not really special. You can look inside and explore them, but other than a bit of loot, like all of these magazines they don't really give you all that much oh we do have a terminal over here new vegas steel factory automation test in progress current test time 204 years lucky 38 executive override huh well, that's interesting what does it do let's see I have no idea what I just did, but apparently there's a test running ever since, you know, the time of the war. And I may have just done something, but I have no idea what. So again, this, this might be part of a quest that I just haven't uh, received yet. Door to Fiend Territory. Interesting. It's actually called Fiend Territory. And not Mojave. Um, okay, well, I guess we will continue to explore the Fiend Territory in the next episode. And potentially finish that one bounty hunt. And I guess I will have a quick look at these boxes. I will take the Wonder Glue. But yeah, um, I think the episode is getting long enough, so I'm going to make a cut here. And yeah, I will have another quick look around and see if there's anything I missed here. But so far, there doesn't really seem to be anything too interesting. So, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.